This machete is very powerful. This man came aggressively and just a knife to destroy the car. A man in a car with a Gatling is shooting wildly. He moved so fast and agile that no one could see where he was. At that moment, the car door was pierced, and the truck was all split open in an instant. The man was called the God of Machete. He was the product of a failed Soviet experiment. Seventy years ago, a crazy doctor secretly conducted biochemical experiments. He captured four innocent people and forced transformation. The results let him make four biochemical warriors. But the military discovered this at the time and sent troops to ban his crazy behavior. The doctor got the news to lock himself in the laboratory and open the bomb to die with everyone. But the bomb exploded. But the doctor survived. It turned out that the chemical in the laboratory had changed the doctor's genes. He became mighty and could control machines. Back in the present, the doctor has used his powers to control a military base. He is concocting a vast conspiracy. The military has sent the most advanced weapons to destroy him. But the machines are unable to resist the doctor's powers. The military was helpless. And an emergency meeting was held. Finally, they found the four biological warriors to deal with the doctor. Elena Latina, a female officer, also decided to take action herself and the first target was Lernik, one of the four warriors. The next day she came to a temple, Elena Latina said she wanted him to participate in a mission. Lernik, a wave of the palm of his hand, the surrounding stones rose into the air. Lernik said that now he wants to be a shepherd. At first, he was forced to do transformation experiments and then thrown aside like garbage. Now he does not want to be bound by anyone. Hearing this news, Lernik took off his hat and decided to take revenge on the doctor who had experimented on him. Lernik soon found his brother Tamerkin, who knew the doctor's news and joined the revenge team. A day later, a brown bear suddenly came out of the house and was stunned. His name is Arsini, and he can become a bear. The fourth ability is Xenia. Her ability to meet Xenia can be invisible. With the help of the military, Lernik, Tamerkin, Arsini, and Xenia, the four biochemical warriors reunited. They will not grow old or die. All have seen their loved ones leave them one by one. All four have a common enemy, DR. They worked together and had to work together to kill the doctor. A few days later, they arrived at the doctor's stronghold. And while it was raining, Xenia walked in and became invisible. Elena Latina has been observing several people's movements at the base. But the signal is suddenly cut off by interference. The man walked by with two knives in hand. And suddenly his figure flashed and shifted to solve two people quickly. The sharp scimitar is dead when it touches. This horrible speed does not fear bullets. He casually stabbed the ambushers to death. But he was also hit by the anesthetic. Picking up a look to find that he was shot. On the other hand, Arsini was so brave that no one was his opponent. Soldiers were like ants in his eyes. And they took off with a wave of his hand. But the enemy has used the iron net. Arsini was strangled by the iron net and returned to his human form. Xenia swaggered past the soldiers. She thought she was invisible. But the soldiers had thermal imaging. The soldiers saw every move she made. The soldier opened the upper pipe. Which emitted white gas and froze Xenia in place. She was instantly turned into a transparent ice sculpture. Lernik was so fierce here that he controlled the stones to form armor and vulnerable to guns and swords. Hammered down to the ground to form an earthquake. Control the stone to the doctor, but the doctor is not afraid. Up is a gun. Lernik was knocked back to his original form. The doctor dragged Lernik up and slammed him to the ground. So the team failed. The doctor put them in an electromagnetic cage. He said he didn't kill them because he wanted them to work for him. Now he invites the four to join him and gives them only 24 hours to think about it. It turns out that the raid failed because there was an undercover agent in the military. The actual plan of the doctor was to control a giant tower to connect the satellite of the space station. With his power, he could control all the machines on Earth and take over the planet. In the absence of the doctor, Elena Latina led the rescue of the four soldiers. The four were returned to the base safely. The military finally realized the real purpose of the doctor. It turns out that the doctor wants to connect the tower to the federal building in Mexico so that the giant tower and the building will be 900 meters high. In addition to controlling the machine, there is a hammer satellite space cannon in outer space. The cannon's power is immense. The military sent warplanes to stop the doctor when they learned about it. The doctor looked up and easily controlled several combat machines. And the planes were instantly blown up. Now no one could stop the doctor except the four soldiers. 
For this reason, the military designed a special suit for the four fighters so that the four could further enhance their abilities. Tamurkin's dark battle armor can resist all physical damage and has special weapons such as wire rope. Lernik's set of Thor's whips can instantly release hundreds of thousands of volts to kill the invisible. Xenia's is a set of intimate clothing that cannot rely on water after activation and can also be invisible. Arsini's is a large gatling. After the four people put it on, the combat power has been perfectly enhanced by several levels. If before they were the battle power of the heavenly god level, then now it can be said to be the battle power of several heavenly gods. Soon the second destruction action began. She kicked over the weapon and instantly disappeared again. Arsini carried the weapon case on the back, pulled up the special gatling, and began to shoot wildly. The enemy hid, and Arsini started to get on it. Suddenly a grenade blows Arsini down, and the stealthy woman is beaten to her original form. She's losing ground and can't hold her ground. Arsini is furious and enters his second form. He ran on all fours, and the gatling automatically positioned itself. Xenia rides him into the building. Lernik also infiltrated from the basement when the underground door was opened. The three of them arrived on the roof of the next building. They were about to run across the street along the pipe. But someone above them is shooting at them with a gun. Arsini can't stand and almost fall. Lernik used a whip to make a shield against the bullets to support. At that moment, Tamurkin was in the sky, ready to act at any time. Seeing his partner do this, he leaped and shot a rope from his hand into the tower. Machete is slash. The beam was instantly split in half. Finally, the four warriors came together again. The doctor felt something wrong and smiled contemptuously. <laughs> Arsini was knocked to the ground. Lernik shot out the whip, but the doctor caught him firmly. He grabs it hard and fires a shot. The unbeaten Lernik strikes instantly but is easily pushed back by the doctor. Xenia saw this and grabbed Lernik and Invisible together. A few whips hit the doctor. The doctor was immediately trapped. Tamurkin regained his feet and drew his scimitar, immediately moving forward. This is bad. The four fighters are still no match for the doctor. Arsini entered his second form again and roared as he ran toward his opponent. In another shot, Arsini was also knocked down. At that moment, a plane flew by. Tamurkin threw his weapon onto the aircraft. They chose to run away wisely, but the doctor controlled the missile car to send missiles, and the equipment to jam the plane failed, and the aircraft was about to crash. Tamurkin cut the ropes in time, and the four fighters fell into the water to save their lives. When they climbed up, Chief Elena Latina appeared before the four people. It turns out that Elena Latina learned that superpowered people have a combined technique, but the energy transfer process is hazardous. The slightest failure may cause collective death. The four decided to take a risk, and much energy coalesced in space. The four warriors all showed a painful expressions. The The building began to crumble inch by inch. The tower collapsed with colossal energy. Almost opened. The space station finally closed. And the doctor was buried in the dust with the collapse. At the end of the story, the four finally returned to their ordinary lives. Please subscribe to my channel. Share different movies and videos every day.